Hi, and welcome to Stamping with Linda, your cardiologist since 1997, helping you create cards from the heart. Today, Stampin' Up! is giving us Reason to Smile with a brand new stamp set called Reason to Smile. This stamp set is an exclusive stamp set. It will only be available the month of July for $5 for anybody that places a $50 order, whether that be a direct order to me, a order at a workshop, or at my online store at Stamping with Linda, Stampin' Up! Net. So let me show you some fun things to do with this stamp set. It is a two-step stamping set, but I'm going to show you some fun accessories I used to create my card. First off, I'm going to use the Big Shot, and I'm going to use my new Floral Frames Framelets. These are six framelets, um, the shape of a flower. The knives are very thin and they face down. We use both tabs when we're using our Big Shot for this. So two tabs. I'm going to use my Espresso cardstock, lay my framelit down, another clear your mat on top, and run it through the Big Shot. I'm also going to add some texture to um, this flower with my new fancy frame embossing folder. Our folders now are a little bit wider, so it is um, impossible to put them through the Big Shot this way. They must go through this way. Um, something to be aware of. You don't want to crinkle them um, in your machine. So I'm going to take tab one, my embossing folder. Again, this is my new folder. Put that cutout image on and another cl clear cutting mat so that I get an embossed image on that flower. Another thing I want to show you is our delicate design folders. These come in a pack of two, two um, nice designs for the edge of your card or for a strip down the middle of your card. And I'm going to use this lace or snowflake folder on my card. So I'm going to run that through the Big Shot. Again, the same layering as my other folder. Tab one, two cutting mats, folder, and cardstock. The other thing I'm going to show you is finish finishing touches. These are long, narrow uh, framelits. And they're wonderful for all those little pieces of cardstock that we cut off from our um, projects. You want to make sure you put the knives down. Another thing is, this is wide too. Never put it through this way because if it is overlapping just a little bit, you're, when you're running it through the machine, you have a tendency to bend it. So I suggest that it goes in this way. I also suggest using a post-it note. With this one, probably two post-it notes. That way it'll keep it from slipping on your paper and being straight. Because it's a framelet, I need to use both of my tabs. Again, both clear mats, and because I put that post-it note on, even though I moved it around, it should be nice and straight. So that's all my big shot um, cutting. I do want to show you that with this um, edgelet, you do need to do a little bit of an encouragement here. These pop out nicely, but you just need to kind of poke them a little bit to get them to come out the rest of the way. So now I'm ready to work on my card. Again, I'm using the two-step stamping set, Reason to Smile. It will only be available in July. I'm going to, I've already taken a smaller flower from the flower frames. I'm going to take the words, this is from um, Blooming Stamp Set. I'm gonna stamp that on my flower. Then I'm going to go in with my markers. Two-step stamping is always solid image, an outline image, image over top. If you like to be exact, you can use the stamp -a -jig. I um, am usually not an exact stamper, so I can stamp without it and be okay if it's off a little bit. I'm taking my in colors 
um, gumball green and summer star fruit and I'm coloring on the back of my stamp very light I don't know if you can see that on the camera but just a soft look I'm going to do two of those flowers and then I always do the bold image first and then do the outline. So I'm going to take the outline. I'm using my Early Espresso. And that is why I like clear mount stamps. It helps me line up better. Um, again, if you prefer the wood or to be exact, you can use the stamp jig So now I want to show you my finished card. This is my downline card um, this month, and you can see there is my flower um, in the center, my center that I used with the Delicate Designs folder, and the edgelets. Here is another card that I did, or actually two more cards with this set. If you're coming to my Mystery Hostess on July 7th, you will be doing these two cards. Very similar to this one, except we're going to use the Designer Series paper uh, with the in color. So you'll be making this card and also this card um, using the Reason to Smile uh, stamp set. The flower that's used there is this bold stamp set. So I hope you um, enjoyed this uh, quick video and you'll join me again at Stamping with Linda, your cardiologist since 1997. Have a great day.